Welcome back to the Ad Manager video series. I'm Catherine, and in this video, we'll talk through line item types and priorities and how they affect delivery. If you haven't already, you should watch the previous videos in this playlist to help plan your inventory structure and create ad exchange orders. Line item type and priority are one factor of many within ad selection, and the line item type directly affects the delivery of the item. In this video, I'll explain each of the different line item types in order of serving priority. Each line item has to specify a line item type, which guides the ad selection. It's important to note that there are many different line item types. When line items compete for an impression, the higher priority line item will win. First, we'll talk about guaranteed line items. Sponsorship line items are top priority. This line item should be used for direct sold campaigns where your buyer wants to take over a page or site and serves based upon a defined percentage of impressions and a start and end time. Standard line items are the next priority. These items serve based on a defined impression goal as well as a start and end time. This line item should be used for direct sold campaigns where your buyer wants a specific number of impressions to serve. The preferred deals line item type has a fixed priority value that ensures it wins ahead of the open auction and all other line item types except for sponsorship and standard line items. Preferred deals can serve ahead of sponsorship and standard line items when dynamic allocation is activated, depending on how the guaranteed line items are pacing. For more information on dynamic allocation, you can find links to our help center via the description below. Next on the priority list are ad network and ad exchange line items. These are used to target specific available inventory for authorized buyers and the open auction for ad exchange and for AdSense buyers for AdSense. Google Ad Manager also allows activation of ad units for AdSense competition. I'll note that the AdSense line item type must be activated for your Ad Manager network to use this option. You can learn more about AdSense backfill to Ad Manager in the Help Center link provided here. Next, we'll discuss non-guaranteed line items. Any third-party ad network or exchange that provides an appropriate ad tag can be represented by a non-guaranteed line item. These line items compete based on a price that you enter into Ad Manager. First, on the non-guaranteed priority list are network line items. Network line items serve based upon a defined percentage of impressions. This item should be used for your partner ad networks that don't have an impression goal. The next priority item are bulk line items. These serve based on a defined impression goal. Because the line item is not guaranteed, this goal functions like an impression cap, limiting the number of delivered impressions. This line item can be used for partners who have ordered a maximum number of impressions, but aren't as concerned with timelines or guarantees. Next, price priority line items serve primarily based on price. This line item can be used to fill your site's unsold inventory with the highest paying available line item. Finally, we have house line items. These only serve when no remnant line items are available. This means that house line items will serve only after no network, bulk, price priority, ad exchange, or open bidding line items are available. For more information on any of the line items discussed or dynamic allocation, please refer to the Help Center linked below. Thanks so much for tuning in today, and I hope you found this video helpful. For more support, you can find links to our Help Center in the description below. And make sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below so you can stay up to date on our latest tips for Ad Manager. See you next time.